Welcome. 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 Hope y'all good. How's it going? So boy, Mr. Reyes. Hold up. I am here today to pull up on y'all real quick and let y'all know I will be running for president. What is good, everybody? It's your homeboy, the ambassador of Puerto Ricans. Just being here with y'all real quick. Just to let you know, 500, 500 members and counting, baby, and counting of what else? Spicy members. That's the vibes. That's just how it is. How are y'all doing? Okay, what's good? What is up? Today, as your president, I am here to talk to y'all and straight to y'all. So you can open your third eye and both of what's right. Nothing but the spiciest, nothing but the best. If you go out to eat for spicy food, you don't get the chillest or the illest, you get the realest. And that's what I am. I want y'all to know that I have supporters on Deggy. We have over 500 spicy members on the Facebook. Like I said, once again, what is good? What is up? All right. And I don't know how many subscribers I got on YouTube, but I got a bunch too. What's up? Pull up on your mans. You ain't ready for these hands. Okay. Okay. How y'all doing? What are the problems that y'all got going on right now? I'm here to address them as a president should. And as the ambassador of Puerto Ricans, I will tell you this. We are not stopping the loud music. The parties will go on. 2020 will not stop until we drop. Parties are forever. And if you want to call the cops, you a snitch. It's just how it is, brother. So talk to me. What do you want to do, snitchers? We are here to snitch. You are a bitch. That simple. That is the slogan. Did y'all see the debate yesterday? Did y'all see that mess? Y'all see how wild that was? Wait, let me, let me go back here real quick. Y'all saw how wild that was? So I'm here today as your next presidential candidate, a real one, the one y'all need and the one y'all been seeking to tell y'all that we're going to watch that together if y'all down to watch that together. So give me your hand but not in marriage. Just give me your hand so we can watch this content together and see how horrible that presidential debate was. Because holy hell, that shit was disgusting. Now let me take this off because this does not fit me because I'm fat as hell. That was from the first presidential debate. Was he like, wait, hold up, what was that? Was he trying to like, like tell him what's good? Was that what he was trying? Wait, what? What are you doing, Biden? What was that? He's like, oh, my guy. My guy. Oh, my guy. My guy's here. I, I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, not first in your class. I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He has, <laughs> you know. Surprise. You, you, you Take this. Oh, the ahead, wrong Joe. guy, oh, the wrong night at the wrong time. Listen, did you use the word smart? You graduated. Biden told him, yo. You ain't smart, my guy. And this dude got tight. But tight. Why would because, you answer that because question? Because the you question is, the new question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, on, man. Listen, who is Look, on your list? You folks at home, how many of you got up this morning and had an empty chair at the kitchen table? Talk to because him. Someone died of COVID. Talk to him. How many of you were in a situation where you lost your mom or dad and you couldn't even speak to them? You had a nurse holding a phone up. So you could, in fact, say goodbye. You would have lost far How more many people. people. Be this is the same that. man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this would be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous. It's like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject so, some bleach in your are all the Oh, oh snap. Man, that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That would seem sarcastic. You know that. I, that I, was... <laughs> this man just said he was being sarcastic about telling y'all to put bleach on yourselves to take care of the COVID. What what happens when the people that follow him believe that and they literally do it? That's the thing. That's the problem that he's not understanding. People will follow what this dumbass says. And it doesn't matter if he's a clown to y'all. 
he's not a clown to everybody, and that's the issue. That's why he's a president. That's why he's the president because enough people thought that this clown should have been the president, and boom, people are gonna do it because they're dumb. If didn't people didn't some people die because they like put like some Clorox or whatever the hell he said to, to inject into yourself, and people died because of that because they were listening to this idiot say, telling you to do that. COVID. In addition to that. About between 750 and 1,000 people a day are dying. When he was presented with that number, he said, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because you are who you are. I think he thought he brought the heat there, but I don't think that was he. Like, he, like Trump wants to, like, big up himself, like, 24-7. And the big, big issue that I have with him trying to big up himself is, like, dog, you didn't do shit. You thought the virus was nothing. You said it was a simple ass flu. You thought it wasn't a big deal, and that's the issue. You literally thought that we was good and we was gonna finesse this. Plus, he's always blaming China. He like the China virus, like this and that. Like, bro, it's already here. Like, try to take care of it. Like, wear a mask so your freaking followers see that you like they can do the same thing. It's not about. Like, I don't understand how is it so hard to just have human decency. Like, it's not about you. Just wear a mask. It's not even that hard. I wear a mask all the freaking time. It's not that hard. <laughs> Literally. I don't understand how is it that hard to freaking wear a mask. How? And the problem is that, like, he doesn't wear a mask. His followers are not going to freaking do it. They're not going to do it. And that's the issue. They're going to believe. Again, going back to the Clorox point, they're going to believe what this idiot says, regardless of what it is, they won't find nothing like, oh, oh, that's my big problem with him. Like he has, he has influence and he doesn't use his influence how he should. He's always trying to big up himself, and he, even though he doesn't deserve that. And it's like, dog, why? Just like if, like, try, try to like, be influential, like, to your people at least, because, like, so many people follow him. I mean, he's president. Joe Biden will die in office. Hopefully, we gonna let a geriatric senile old fuck run for president. Now, I feel you, dog. I feel you on a 100,000%. I'm not Team Biden, bro. I, I'm not. Like, this, for me, is 2016 all over again. Like, I don't want none of these people to fucking even be in office. To not, nothing. That's literally me, bro. But, like, this dude is another racist comeback, bro. And I don't, I don't, but I'm not saying that this dude is also not a bozo and a weirdo because he is, he really is. And again, this for me is 2016 all over again. Like I don't want none of these two bozos to be in office, but sadly by a minuscule, like a minuscule amount, Joe Biden is better than Trump. Mm -hmm. Trump is a threat to us. Like I said, I mean, and I know some people follow him, and then, you know, I'm not here to, to belittle the guys that do follow him. I'm not here to, like, hate on you guys. Nothing like that. I hate him. Not y'all. So we good. Saw that. I also, I'm also not implying or telling you, yo, do this, vote for this guy. Nothing like that, all right? Free speech, free speech is obviously a thing. You do you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing. I'm just, be, I'm just doing me and just talking me. You know, shooting my shots from, you know, vibes. And if you can tell, look at that flag right there. Puerto Rico, baby. When this man went to Puerto Rico, talking about Donald Trump, this man, this man treated us, treated us like, like, like freaking pigs. Like, this man is a shit, bro. So I really don't mess with this dude. Back in February, how serious this crisis was. He knew it was a deadly disease. What did he do? He's on tape is acknowledging he knew it. He said he didn't tell us or give people a warning of it because he didn't want to panic the American people. You don't panic. He panicked. It's facts on facts. The highest position in the United States. Like, like again, that's what I'm talking about. Your influence. You got that influence. And, like, you have to, like, use that shitty influence in a good way, bro. Like, how are you going to freaking... How do I say this? Like, how are you going to, like... It's your job to keep the people chill, mellow. Like, not make them worry. Like... You're the one that has to go through those things. Like, you're the person in power, the highest power. And y'all here wilding out. Justified under oath. So let under me ask oath. you this. Henry, no, 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 go ahead, mister. Every, I'm listening to you. Oh, wait a minute. You get the final word, mister. Well, it's hard to get any word in with this clown. Excuse me, this Hey, hey this let me person. just say to you. But are you... Oh, damn, he tried. He tried to, like, he's like, yo, uh, uh, 
Uh, my bad. I didn't meant to say that. I mean, he's not a clown. He's the whole circus. <laughs> Yo, Biden out here, Loki, like shooting shots from like mid court. Willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups, sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, but do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing. Answer the question. Oh my God. All you have to do is answer the question. Not even answer the question. That's denounce white supremacists. Like they're racist people. It's a racist organization. What is wrong with you? That's all you had to do. I like TB, bro. You couldn't even take a W, even if it was handed to you. Why? How? The clip as a way to transition to a moment that I did not expect. But Donald Trump blew the biggest layup in the history of debates by saying not condemning white supremacists. I don't know if he didn't hear it, but he's got to clarify that right away. That's like, are you against evil? Um, why the president didn't just uh, knock that out of the park, I'm not sure. Even his own homeboy was like, why did you not do that? It's something so simple. All you had to do was denounce them. That's it. That's it. He couldn't even do that. Not from the right wing. So what are you, what are you, you, look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call him? What do you want to call him? Give me a name. Give me a name. Oh, so so would you like me to condemn? How is it so hard? Right Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem, his this own is a left-wing, this said is a left He never denounced them. My son was in Iraq, he spent a year there, he got the, he got the Bronze Star, he got the Conspicuous Service Medal, he was not a loser. He was a patriot, and the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent. Are you talking like about Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking I don't about. Know. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter you know got Bo. thrown. Hunter got thrown out of the military. What he does was this? Thrown out to... What does this have to do with what the people of America care about or want? Like, what's good with Medicare? What's good with like unemployment? Like, what's good with this whole COVID situation? Like. Why are they trying to belittle each other instead of actually doing or talking about shit that they should be talking about that the people actually care about other than this fake, stupid ass drama? Like, what is this? Like, this ain't no freaking Jersey Shore or some shit like that. Like, oh, my God, we really could do so much better. How? Ah. Ah. Dishonorably discharged. That's not true. It wasn't cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of that vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. He my made son, a fortune. General, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son, like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. But why was yeah. all the of Mr. Right. President... Damn, Trump was trying to shoot a shot and that it, it missed. Damn. He really said, your, your son's a crackhead, bro. What's good on live TV? <laughs> Big scumbag behavior, bro. Your campaign, why don't you observe what your campaign agreed to as a ground rule, okay? So he never keeps his word. Because because he he Oof. Like, he, he literally interrupted all in... Like, he interrupted Biden every single time. Like, what the hell is this kindergarten shit? Just let the men talk, and then you do you talk, bro. Like, that's it. Like, relax. Relax. <laughs> the thing I'm seeing, I mean, I didn't watch the full debate, but what I'm seeing is, like, it's just all Biden. Like, I don't see nothing from Trump. I don't know if he, like, didn't really do anything or said anything other than try to, like, talk shit to this, talk shit about him. But, like, is this highlight biased? Or, like, did Trump really not offer anything to the table? Because, literally, we're about to end it in, like, nothing. Nothing at all from Trump other than him just screaming on the mic. Millions of jobs, good paying jobs. But let him finish, sir. He doesn't know how to do that. $100 they, billion. Dollars. The Trump, I'm you go urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. But I hope it's going to be a fair election. If it's a fair... 
So he told his 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 followers or fanatics, I don't even know, to vote twice, which is illegal, and you can't do that. And this man was literally telling people to do illegal shit. So it wouldn't surprise me. He would tell he would also tell his viewers or whatever to run up and and get done up on the voting uh, on the voting polls and just. Messing around with the people, messing with the dope voting polls. Not surprised. Solicit in ballots, send it in, and then go make sure it counted. And if it doesn't tabulate, you vote. You just vote. And then if they tabulate it very late, which they shouldn't be doing, they'll see you voted, and so it won't count. So send it in early, and then go and vote. And if it's not tabulated, you vote, and the vote is going to count. You can't let them take your vote away. These people are playing. Dirty politics. Dirty politics. So if you have an absentee ballot, or as I call it, a solicited ballot, you send it in. But I would check it in any event. I would go and follow it and go vote. And everybody here wants to vote. Ah, oh, he really, he really, he really told his, his supporters to do illegal shit. Ah, oh, he really loves to see it, man. I think this man really, like, closed this beautifully. It was a hot mess inside a dumpster fire, inside a train wreck. That was the worst debate I have ever seen. In fact, it wasn't even a debate. Yes, sir. It was a disgrace. I... We'll talk about who won the debate, who lost the debate, but I can tell you I'm... one thing for sure. The American people lost tonight because that was horrific. I agree, man. Like I said, like this is literally 2016 all over again, and I would just like not to vote. But by a minuscule, minuscule, minuscule amount, tiny, tiny, I prefer Biden over Trump. And it's not even, it's not even a minuscule amount, to be honest. I mean, I would never vote for Trump. I, I detest that guy. That guy is a human earth war. I still want to say how people can still defend him and his racist behaviors and stuff like that. And again, I'm also not defending Biden. Like, oh, that shit is, it's whack. It really is. But we did this to ourselves, and that's that's the problem. Well, guys, really appreciate y'all for coming through as always. I very, very much appreciate y'all for just, you know, sticking around for my get my my goofs, my stupidness. You know, we were just here together watching, which I watching what, what I would like to say greatness, but it wasn't greatness. And at least the greatest part about this was y'all being here with your boy. So really appreciate y'all a lot. Um, Hope to see y'all again in the next stream. We stream every day on Facebook Gaming. Uh, Mr. Redias, uh, this clip right here, this video right now, it's actually from there. It's from Facebook. Facebook Gaming. Yeah, they do stream. So please do check us out, Mr. Redias. That's all I got to say, guys. Uh, thank you so much once again for coming through. Thank you for just being here. Thank you for, you know, hearing the rants, hearing me speak out, speak in. And, you know... Just subscribe to the YouTube if you enjoyed this video. I mean, if you have any topics, if you want to rebuttal anything that I said, you can also do that in the comments down below. But that's it for me. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Thank you for coming through once again. Really, really appreciate you guys so much. And just got to say, 500 members on the Facebook group, Mr. Redia Spicy Boys. So please, if you haven't joined, join. We got great memes. We got... Razor that does not miss with his like posts. Like he always posts gaming stuff. He always on the money. Like he got the leaks. He got everything. So come through the group. 500 members of county. That's all I got to say. As always, shout out to the patrons. Have a good one, guys. It's been a beautiful night. Hope to see y'all again. Most probably tomorrow. 
Again, we stream every day on Facebook Gaming, Mr. Radius. So that's it, baby. That's it. Thank you.